So I answer the phone and I'm laughing at myself and out of breath from the sex, and my boss is confused as to why I'm so amused at the news of other people getting furloughed. What's the funniest thing that's happened to you during sex? Turns out the headboard was exactly the right height to sit on for a BJ. Turns out the headboard wasn't strong enough to hold my boyfriend's weight. They don't call it a headboard for nothing. Ripped a fart accidentally when I came on her tits. Her face went from pleasure to just a dead stare while holding her tits. We've been in an ongoing nerf war since I want to say February. Recently she pulled a pistol from underneath her pillow and shot me point blank while I came. Edit, wow, thanks everyone. To clarify, I was on top and she shot me in the chin, she was aiming for my mouth. I was with a girl who liked to wrestle a bit and be held down, except she was a dancer with incredibly powerful legs and I underestimated her. She accidentally kicked me in the chest and broke one of my ribs. When I first started dating my girlfriend I stepped on a bottle of lube spraying it all over her wall and then slipped on it, fell on the floor, then subsequently farted on impact. Two seconds later the Canada Day fireworks went off in the harbor downtown. True story. I wish I could make that my signature move. As I was going down on my wife, the cat decided it would be a good time to climb and sit on top of my head. I tried to ignore it, but when she looked down she started laughing so hard that it killed the mood for the rest of the night. Boyfriend was going down on me, he started doing a cookie monster impression while he was down there. Made me laugh so hard I let out a little fart right on his face. I was going down on my girlfriend in high school. I was kneeling next to the bed with her legs hanging off the end. I was fully erect and my cat came from under the bed and licked the tip of my penis. Scared the crap out of me. If you have ever felt a cat's tongue you'll know how horribly uncomfortable that felt on the tip of my member. One of the very first times I ever had sex, I looked out my window to see my neighbor having sex with his girlfriend he noticed me and nodded what's up midstroke. Later found out that the girl he was having sex with at that moment was my neighbor from the house that I had just moved away from like six months prior. My new neighbor was ducking my old neighbor, and I saw them while having sex with my girlfriend. I was sitting on his face for the first time while he ate me out, and I squirted without even realizing. Instant waterboard. I noticed he made a weird face and thought maybe I was smothering him too much, but instead he made a run for the bathroom to spit it all out. Killed the mood because we were laughing so hard and now I joke to him about how he doesn't swallow. Successfully asserted dominance. This happened to me once but she peed on me instead. Never really wanted to know what urine tastes like, confirmed that I'm not into golden showers, and had to get a few swallows in so I didn't choke. Luckily she noticed pretty quickly. Edit, lots of replies saying it's all pee. She squirted fairly regularly, and this was the only time it tasted like urine. I'm sure you're all correct, but I do make a distinction. Mid-anal she decides she wants to 69. She gets off my dick and spins around to suck while I eat her out. She must have relaxed too much, because she took a crap on my face. We're getting married next year. Luckily she found it hilarious, because I was mortified. In middle of it we heard her little brother jokingly yell from the other side of the door, don't be ducking, then he ran in. Didn't have any time to hide, so I just stared at him, he yelled, oh duck, and ran out of the room. Other thing that is more embarrassing than funny but my girlfriend's mother has the tendency to either not knock at all, or knock on the door but not wait at all before rushing in. Most of the time we've managed to hide, of course she probably always knows what has been happening but at least she hasn't seen me fully naked a whole lot. Once my girlfriend was sitting on top of me and her mom came in. Girlfriend managed to grab a blanket but she literally sitting on top of me isn't obvious at all. Edit, no, her door doesn't have a lock. I had gone over to this guy's house wearing my new Vans shoes, I was in high school, so these $50 shoes were my Sunday's best. We went upstairs and started going at it. He was behind me and I was facing the window to the backyard. 
Like five minutes in I see his dog run into the backyard and tear one of my new shoes apart all over the grass. I thought it was so funny I couldn't even be upset, I miss that dog. Either first or second time I had sex with my ex, we'd literally just finished, as in I hadn't even pulled out of her yet and her mum walks in. We both freeze and I daren't look because her mum was a bit fierce and all I hear is, oh, I thought you were just friends and then the door closes again. My ex bursts out laughing and about five minutes later I hear her mum on the phone telling her sister. An ex of mine curled and farted right in succession when we were nearly at the point of climax. She was absolutely mortified but I thought it was the funniest thing ever at the time and it honestly just made me feel more comfortable with her. It was, however, very sad how bad she felt about it. She legitimately thought I would never want to touch her again simply for having natural bodily emissions. Honestly it never fails to depress when I hear the kinds of things that partners think will make me less attracted to them. I remember she had like, the loudest queef ever and she was so embarrassed but I couldn't contain my laughter. Oh my god, I think I was crying of laughter, it wasn't the first time she had queefed during sex, but this time it was so loud oh boy I felt so bad afterwards. She became a bit self-conscious because I was her first ever sexual partner. So after the fact, I remember we sat down and talked about how it was natural and there was nothing wrong with it, I mean, she was my wife so I obviously was supportive. But I'll never forget that loud ass queef. My ex-girlfriend would have these really really long days at work and come home and say, honey do the thing. So she'd lay down and put on Netflix or start reading a book and I'd begin playing with her, nothing too crazy, in fact the tamer the better, usually just fingering and slight nipple play. I always had to contain my laughing because she'd be laying there almost lifeless. No moaning, not really any moving, the occasional, right there, but otherwise it would be like she was sleeping, and then out of nowhere she'd finish. I know she'd finish because she'd kinda quietly buck her legs and be as still as possible and slowly arch her back. And then say, okay I came thanks babe, and then it was time for bed for her. It was always so funny because in normal sex she was always so full of life and energy and loud and moving a lot and wanting to switch positions. Yes I know she was just using me to come, I was honestly honored that she'd even want me to help her that way lol. Girlfriend and I are both working from home, which has led to midday quickies, art meetings. It's awesome. Little bit of role play. I'm a lucky guy. Anyway, last week we're right in the middle and my phone rings. I'm certain it's my boss. So I stop and run out to the living room to get my phone, but I'm still wearing socks and I slip rounding a corner and just completely hit the floor. No grace at all. So I answer the phone and I'm laughing at myself and out of breath from the sex, and my boss is confused as to why I'm so amused at the news of other people getting furloughed. So he probably thinks I'm an asshole. Ended the call and between the falling, laughing, and subject and length of the call, I was completely flaccid. Yes we finished. This is my most important meeting and I always meet my deliverables. I'm a little late to the party but here goes. My good single friend used to live with me and my wife. A girl he went to high school with calls him up one day looking for a bit of action and a bit later she shows up and they retreat to his room. After a bit she starts screaming really loudly, top of her lungs loud. My wife and I smiled, he had warned us that she was a screamer, and we waited for it to be over. 20 minutes go by and she hasn't stopped. My wife and I are getting coats on to go for a walk when the doorbell rings. We answered it and it is our deaf neighbor saying that it felt like someone was screaming and he wasn't sure if he needed to call the cops. We explained with some crude pointing and hand gestures that people were just banging and everything was all right. We also told him we were going for a walk to get away from the noise for a while. We then go for a walk. It's around 10.30 p.m. and in the fall so we head down to a bar a few blocks away to get out of the chill and have a drink. After 45 minutes we figure everything should have wrapped up by now and we head home. About a block from home we start to hear her, still screaming. Woman had an amazing set of lungs and both of them had some serious endurance. 
walked past the house and went for another walk. We were only gone for another half hour and we didn't go too far but we heard the screaming stop so we turned around and went home. By the time we got there his friend was leaving and we filled in my friend on how loud she was. We still pick on him to this day. Like and subscribe for more funny, interesting, and scary r slash ask reddit videos.